And we begin with that new information on the deadly shooting at a West Palm Beach medical office. We now know the names of the gunman and the two people who detectives say the man shot. News Channel 5's Brian Enton is live outside the Doctors' Choice Medical Center. Brian, you have the latest. Yeah, Mike, we are at this medical center, which is on Forest Hill, right near Military. Take a look. The parking lot is full, uh, and there are a lot of people inside the waiting room, despite this murder-suicide that happened uh, yesterday afternoon. One of the employees just telling me that one of the managers and another man were shot last night, were told, after some kind of disagreement with the contractor. Take a look at this new mug shot. The sheriff's office says this is the suspect. Jose Vega and detectives say he turned the gun on himself. This is an older mugshot after killing Luis Gonzalez and shooting Ana Villa. Ana Villa right now is in fair condition. We just got that update from Delray Medical Center. An employee here just told me that Villa is one of the managers. None of the patients can believe that this happened at a doctor's office. Well, I see what happened, my goodness. I can't believe that one. I don't know what the reason. I don't know. I can't. I can't understand what happened. The sheriff's office is continuing their investigation, trying to figure out uh, what the motive was. But the detectives do tell us that the suspect and the victims did know each other. Obviously, a lot of investigation has to continue here. One thing we did find out, though, is that the suspect, from what we can tell does have one previous arrest for uh, soliciting prostitution. We expect more developments as the day unfolds out here in suburban West Palm Beach. For now, live at the Medical Center, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.